Complexity. Complexity of the control objectives and complexity of the regulatory requirements, as well as just the concept uh, of how do you develop an IoT program. And by IoT, we're talking about the big IoT, right? So that includes industrial, commercial, that includes wearable, that includes medical, that includes automotive, right? I mean, uh, DHS has 16 critical infrastructure architectures, and every one of them is some form of IoT. So again, the answer to the question is, it's difficult to actually build a cybersecurity program for IoT on a number of factors, size, resources, capabilities, and understanding what the control objectives are for the various regulatory agencies. So they are trying, that, that's the, the, they are not complete, right? They haven't quite got the formula down pat. Uh, there are several organizations out there now which are trying to spin into that space where they're offering things like the FDA's pre-market guidance, where they're offering uh, you know, working groups on security coming out of some of the big uh, compliance objective groups like ISO IEC 62443, uh, or NIST 853R4, soon to be R5. Uh, all of these are being worked on as we speak for a more comprehensive way in order to consume the elements of control that are necessary to make for a secure operating environment. Comocana builds security software. Uh, we have both a, uh, client side, which is on device, and we have services back end. Uh, we can do everything from lightweight enrollment and update all the way down to hardcore crypto functions out on the endpoints. And our back end services platform automates and, and creates a management frame for policy based decisioning at the back end that is very light touch to the endpoint, small footprint on the network, which are all part of the issues associated with IoT. We participate in many of, the, of those groups, yes. So ISA 99 uh, and their contributions to ISO IEC 62443. Um, there's several new groups that are spinning up, uh, some user groups as well as some vendor groups that we're participating in. So there's a lot of work being done. And then you know some of the big trade organizations like GSMA and CTIA, and those guys are all now thinking about how to help people achieve compliance with their various regulatory requirements and offering assistance in accomplishing that. We can, we can help them map our control objectives that we provide into various regulatory elements.